Let's do connections. We're finding four groups of four. We've got a mini lime. Oh, that sounds cute. Just a little mini lime. A faith mole. <laughs> Is that when you have a mole? Uh, it's because uh, it represents your faith. <laughs> uh, that would be funny. All right. Salsa poodle. Oh, no. The poodle got into the salsa. Pico foot. Pencil micro. Onion wrap. An onion wrap? Uh, put more than just onions in there. Mega cilantro. Someone likes soapy taste. Ki Kilo capital. All right. Um, what stood out to me? Capital being spelled this way stands out to me. Kilo, micro, pico, and mole are all amounts, like scientific. Is there another one? I think this is fine. These are like units. Oh, one away. Maybe mega instead of mole, because these are prefixes. Mole is not a prefix. Okay. Yeah, I should have seen that. Metric prefixes. Okay. Uh, you never know if mole is going to be the animal or the <laughs> or or the thing on your the thing on your skin or um or uh the unit of measurement. Let's see. Poodle? Like what else would poodle be other than the dog breed? I mean, mini could be a dog breed, but I'm not seeing like four dog breeds here. So what else would poodle be? I'm not sure. Capital. I'm still confused about capital. What I'm trying to remember what what versions of capital, what definitions of capital use that spelling. Is it like the capital of a country? Is it like capital letters? I'll have to come back to that too. Cilantro and onion. These are probably um, like Mexican ingredients. <laughs> Taco toppings. Okay. Pencil. Again, we're down to the blue and the purple. I'll probably get the blue because I have plus two to blue today for my blue shirt. Wrap. I feel like wrap could have maybe maybe was a red herring for this category with the, the lime and the onion and the sauce and everything. Hmm. I mean, a mole is also like a spy, right? A spy who, you know what I mean? Mole. Um, foot also like maybe could have been a red herring for the metric prefixes, but foot is not metric. So that makes sense. Um, faith. There's got to be some kind of weird fill in the blank going on here, right? Trying to think of a phrase that involves faith, like a two two word phrase. Blind faith, maybe. Yeah, blind faith. A blind mole. Blind poodle. Blind. Pe Darn. I, actually, I don't see blind for any of these. Oh, I thought I had it. Huh. It wouldn't be blind pencil. I don't know what that would mean. Blind foot. I don't know what that would mean. Blind wrap. Blind poodle. Blind mini. Blind capital. No. Okay, it's not blind blank. I have a mole. <laughs> Robin Hood Benetite's reference there. Like, what do these have anything to do with each other? One of these is the blue. They should be at least somewhat related, right? What would have, like, good phrases to go with it? Like, I don't see how poodle would have a phrase to go with it. Pencil in? I feel like you wouldn't have blank in, would you? Capital punishment? Is that how you spell capital for capital punishment? I don't see any other punishments, though. State capital, state something. I don't know. <laughs> I'm trying here. <laughs> capital records, capital letter. I really thought it was going to be blind. But is it even blind mole, though? I thought it, maybe it's. There's the naked mole rat. I don't even know. Now, now I'm thinking about it. I don't know if blind mole is even the name of that animal. I'm second guessing myself. <laughs> there is a kind of mole that is blind, though. Poodle. Like, really? What? It's a dog breed. It doesn't mean anything else to me. Standard poodle? Is there standard something else? I know standard is a prefix for poodle. I don't see any other standards. Okay. It was a thought. Mini is weird too. Mini crossword. <laughs> Could it be a play on words? Could we have like prefixes or suffixes or like removing letters? Maybe poodle. We're supposed to like just change the word. L dupe backwards. <laughs> Upside down in a calculator. Does it say something? Um, faith is a name also, but I don't see other names. Faith based. I'm trying to just think of any phrase I can think of that involves these words, but none of them really go together. That's a wrap. <laughs> to wrap up is to finish. One thought I have is like style of lettering, right? Capital letters, you might be able to make them mini. You could pencil in the letters, but I'm not actually seeing a fourth that would go with that. Mole letters, poodle letters, faith, foot, wrap letters. I don't know, maybe a wrap letter is a thing. I got to try something. I don't know what any of these have to do with each other. They'll at least get info. I'm one away on that. Interesting. Probably not for the reason I thought. But this is one away. So we got to remove one of these and add one of the others. So pencil, mini, wrap, capital. What do three of these have to do with each other? Capital with an... I, I'm really confused by this capital spelling. I wish I was a better speller. 
I don't know which definitions of capital go with that spelling. I could try pencil mini. Pencil mini wrap feel like, I don't know. I don't know why they feel like they go better together than having capital in there, but it's just a feeling I have. It could be wrong. Capital feels kind of out there for any, any category though. Okay, maybe I'll remove capital and add foot. I don't know. That just kind of vibe wise feels like it might go in there. Still one away. Okay, so either that means that these three go together with one of these other three, or that these two go together in that category, and we're supposed to remove pencil, mini, or wrap. But let me think about what pencil, mini, and wrap could possibly go together with. I'm pretty sure either way it means that foot and capital go together. So maybe we can think about that too. What do foot and capital have to do with each other? I can't think of anything. I don't even have anything to think about here. Like I'm thinking, I'm thinking about foot and capital. I think they have to go together because if they were split up, hold on, let me think about this. It was one away with capital. It was one away with foot. So obviously one option is capital and foot were both, were both supposed to be in here. And so I found of these five, we need four of them and foot and capital go together. Otherwise it means that these three go together with something else. And then that, then the four remaining would still have foot and capital. So we can't split up foot and capital. That's the, that's the piece of information I know best. So what do foot and capital have anything to do with each other? Foot being like a person's foot, like part of the body. It could mean the measurement. There's the word a foot, but I don't know if that's helpful. I wish I remembered which definitions of capital go with this spelling. I think I'm, I think I'm giving up. <laughs> I, I, I hate doing this. I, I've been you can see the timer. I've been staring at this for a long time and I've got nothing. I don't have another mistake to, to use. And I cannot think of a connection between these two words. Just simply cannot. Capital, uh, I thought about how the Capitol, I think, is also the name of a building in Washington, D.C., so like the Capitol building, maybe. But what does foot have to do with either Washington, D.C. or uh, or buildings? Um, it's where Congress is, right? So, like, yeah, I don't even know if it's that definition. I don't know which spellings of Capitol are this one. It feels like an odd spelling for it. I think even Capitol letters, like, I'm pretty sure it's A-L. Capital punishment I thought of as well, but I don't know what punishment would have to do with foot. The only other thing I can think of is we're not supposed to think of the definitions of these words, and instead it's some kind of word play, which they do do, right? But I can't think of any word play for these two words. This is impossible. I'm, I'm, there's obviously just something in my brain that's just not... I just don't know it. <sighs> this is frustrating. Um, all right, well, I know capital and foot go together... Let's say they don't go with mini wrap pencil. Let's say they go with two of these. I don't know. Vibe based guess here. Poodle and. No, maybe not poodle. I don't know. Poodle and faith. I don't know. This is wrong. Yeah. There's no way it was going to be right. Kinds of skirts. And words with hill. Okay, I thought of capital building, but not capital hill. Wait, hold on. So let's go through these kinds of skirts, mini, pencil, poodle, and wrap. Okay. Uh, I don't know that I would have ever gotten that. Mini skirt. I maybe could have thought of mini skirt, but would I have known that pencil? Maybe I would have known pencil skirt was a thing. Maybe I would have considered wrap to be a skirt. I don't know that I've ever heard of a poodle skirt. Um, words with hill. Capitol Hill, I, I get that. So it, it was the Capitol building and it's on Capitol Hill. Okay. Faith Hill, Hill Faith, I don't know, is Faith Hill a person? Foot Hill, Mole Hill. So you're making a mountain out of a mole hill is a phrase. I, this was just, this was just not, not something I would have gotten. I had, I had no chance at all. I'm going to look up some of these. Let's look up what a poodle skirt is first. Okay, poodle skirts were popular in the 50s, I guess. Kind of a long, flowy skirt. Words with Hill, Capitol Hill I know. Faith Hill, I'm going to look up that. All right, Faith Hill is a singer. Okay. Uh, foothill. Okay, a foothill is a, it's a hill that's at the base of larger hills. I think I've heard of like foothills as like the name of places. I don't know that I've ever knew what that meant. And then mole hill, I've only ever heard in that phrase, making a mountain out of a mole hill. Okay, well, we learned, we learned some things today. I at least did. Uh, did you get these? Maybe, um, maybe the skirts is something that more people know about than I do. All right, well, let me know how you did. I hope you didn't struggle as much as I did. Let's do the New York Times mini crossword for Wednesday, April 24th. Let's go. Speak with a gravelly voice. Hmm. 
I'm not sure what word that is. Sound of an angry grunt. Ooh, another another sound. Uh, not sure. Very excited with up. Revved up. Is that is that even how you spell that? Revved up. It could be. I think there's other options, but we'll hold, put that in for now. Lies around lazily. Oh, I'm having trouble with this one. Ridge on a guitar's neck. Uh, fret. Okay. I did I did play a guitar for a period of time. Uh, spot of T question mark. Okay, so that I have to maybe ignore revved here. Uh, spot of T, it's a play on words. What would that mean? Um are they saying T like drama? So like gossip? I, I don't know. I have to skip that too. Plentiful. I might remove revved. Because I think it's getting in my way. Um, well, let's hold off on that. Plentiful. I, I don't know. Ancient grain in a healthy cereal. Oats? <laughs> um, I don't know. Wheat? Okay, wheat fits. Okay, so maybe at least ED is probably right and revved. Degrees conferred after successful defenses. PhDs. It's plural. Degrees. Yeah, you have to defend your PhD. WP is weird. What is this? Speak with a gravelly voice? It is Oh, an HH? Ah, uh, it's a grunt, though. Uh, is it a UUUHH -H -H or something? That would be funny. Um, well, let's, let's look back through these. Lies around lazily. Oh, I think I'm I think I've ruined this one. Okay, I haven't done this. Blank baked unsound. Half baked. Okay, revved is wrong, but I think ED might be right. This is half baked. Is this is this just like all H's? That would be hilarious. Um or maybe there's some U's in there, so maybe I shouldn't fill that out. Spot of T question mark. Okay, well what is this one? Oh, it's amped up, not revved up. Okay, amped up makes sense. Ending in WP might work, but I can't think what word this is. Plentiful. Maybe with the correct letters here, I can get these. Spot of T uh, lies around laz lazily. Oh, no. This one's hard. Plentiful. Ample. Ample. Really? It maybe is wheat wrong? Is this like, hmm? <laughs> like, I don't know. How are you supposed to get this one? It has to be the crosses, right? Oh no, lies around lazily? Look, I, I, something's wrong. Is it wheat? Do I remove these letters and look again? Speak with a gravelly voice. I don't know. I'm pretty confident about ample. I'm pretty confident about half and amped and fret. I, I think what I have here is correct. So lies around lazily. How, how can I not think what this word is? Lilts? Like, is that? Double T is weird. No, I don't think it's lilts. Okay, well, I, this could take forever. Um, Let's check what I have so far. Okay, yeah, I, I, I knew I was right. Um, I just don't know what these words are. Sound of an angry grunt. Hmm, I don't know. Um, Humph, maybe? H-U-M-P-H. That's a real word, at least. Ancient grain in a cereal. Maybe S-P? Spet? Ooh, yeah, what is this? Is this spent or... Sp spelt. Spelt is, is the grain. Yeah, ooh. Lies around lazily. That's a lot of L's. I don't... I don't know. Uh, spot of T. Rumor. Okay, so I was right about drama. Okay. Oh my gosh. L lulls? Lull? To lull around lazily? Okay. Um, That was a poor performance. What could I have done better? Thinking of rumor? I thought of like drama, but I didn't think of rumor. Maybe I should have. Plentiful being ample. I feel like we've had that before, and I never remember that plentiful is ample. Remembering the grain spelt. This is just a little piece of trivia that I, I keep learning and I keep forgetting because it's not in my daily life. PhDs, I think I did okay. I don't know how I could have gotten lols. Humph. Yeah, I don't know if I could have gotten that without all those crosses. So yeah, this one, this one was just tough for me. Uh, let me know how you did. Let's do strands for April 24th. Today's theme is this is a puzzle. It certainly is. 
Uh, Puzzle-related things. Quandary. I see the Q-U, and I thought of Quandary immediately uh, because of the letters around it. Wait, Quan... How do you spell it? With an E? <laughs> Quandary. Wait. Qu Am I spelling qu Quandary wrong? It's like right here. Oh no, I, apparently my spelling... My, my lack of spelling ability is 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 hurting here. All right, well, let's let's focus on some other things. This is it just other names for like things that are puzzling, like what what would be other things? Uh, what would be other words for that? I don't know, I see diet, but it's probably not that. <laughs> we have two y's here, two things that end in y. Puzzle. Puzzle. What's when you say something's puzzling, you mean it's difficult? No, it's Question? Do we have like question? Questionable? Why can't I think of any other words for for this? All right, let's just look for words in general. Maybe something will pop out to me. C O U N seems suspicious, but I don't see how to use that. I see round here, but no. Um, there was another way to do it, so I knew it wouldn't be right. What are what are other synonyms to puzzling mag magic no i don't i'm looking around the border here these two y's may be something to focus on especially this corner y because the, the other y is not gonna be next to it i like er maybe ery here the problem is so many words end in ery i'm not sure how to how to use that but if ery was a thing either the b needs to be involved in it or the b needs to get out with this r brain maybe or maybe brain teaser or brain, like maybe this is the spanogram, brain something. Brain, it probably doesn't use the U because the Q has to use the U. Brained, <laughs> no, it doesn't even go to the other end. Brain, brainer, <laughs> brain, come on, brains? No, okay, brain, brain puzzle, brain teaser, brain, why can't I think of this? Brain ear. <laughs> okay, well, uh, brain is, brain is, kind of locked in but it goes with something else uh so that, what does that mean for this c o n maybe or c o u i'm imagining brain there but i don't see how we're ending in c so i think i think we got to do like con or c o u n i don't see it and also we need to be careful about like which n are we using if we don't use the u maybe u n d something i don't see anything wow Okay, let's I'm gonna I'm gonna tap on brain here to see how it kind of splits up the grid. So maybe something on the left here would be good to to find. Other things related to like brain stuff. I don't know, Sudoku here. <laughs> Number? No. I still want to do quandary, but <laughs> I can't spell it. I guess it if if the N is used by brain, then we can't actually do quandary. So maybe it's a different QU word. Let's focus on that. Q U. I'm gonna actually tap it. Q U and then what? either the e or the a or this a uh question no Qu quan query how would i spell query q u query really <laughs> um that's annoying you don't pluralize it that way <laughs> the fact that query isn't it is bothering me and i still don't know how to spell quandary um what what else does this do? I'm trying to avoid brain. Maybe I don't avoid brain. Maybe it's not brain. If you, if you feel like it would be brain, I don't know. I'm getting so confused by this puzzle. Dream? No, didn't think so. Dreamy? No. Don't see what that would have to do with anything. Um, date and dates. Seat. <laughs> what is? Maybe the Y is like R Y or something or S Y. Si mm. I'm not seeing it master that would leave the wise alone uh mastery master sorry mastery the problem is we have the two y's here mystery it's mystery mystery finally found something okay yeah so that is a synonym to kind of puzzling puzzle it's a puzzle it's a mystery like what are our other words for that it's like all words have left my brain a nerd <laughs> Um, like what's what's going on here? How are we getting this A? Like need, need is double E. Read. Okay, I still think brain is something. Brain what though? 
brain brain drain <laughs> brain dr no i don't know so this is a mystery this is a quandary i still think quandary is it and i just don't know how to spell it <laughs> that that would use the n in brain though i'm looking at how brain affects like oh maybe we do brain this way maybe it's brain this way still have to end up here somehow well, that would mean it would use the I or the T, something not in range of this N. So brain T. Oh, there it is. Brain tease. Brain teaser. Br brain teaser. Are you kidding me? <sighs> brain tease. Sir. Well, that leaves the L D D I L. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I thought I had the spanogram, but no, it, it clearly doesn't work because LDDI would be isolated, but maybe just teaser. No, teaser still isolates LDDI. What are we doing with this? these letters? Can you believe brain teaser is there? <laughs> oh my gosh. Maybe nerdy. No, nerdy isolates this A. What are we doing with this A? Raid, rad, rad something. Read something. Dare. <laughs> all all synonyms to mystery have left my brain. I, I still think it's the spanogram involves that brain word. Brain something. It's not brain teaser. I mean we could we can also spell brain teaser this way. Look at this. Already found. Can we extend that even more? Teaser brain teasers. Wow. Oh, so quandary is spelled with an A there? Okay. Yeah, my spelling strikes again. This is the weirdest spanogram I've ever seen. We had one the other day that th this touches three sides and then continues. So yeah, they're getting creative with the spanograms. Uh, this is Enigma. Okay. Now now it's going to be obvious, right? I hope. No, no carousel movements. <laughs> we got two more words. This is, a, oh, this is conundrum. How did I not think of, I don't know, the way my brain works. Sometimes. What is this one? Riddle. It's riddle. I feel like I did really poorly on that, but also <laughs> look at brain teasers. That's crazy. Because I, I kept trying to use this N. And also I didn't know how to spell quandary. I'm pretty sure I did Q-U-A-N-D-R-Y. I had no idea it used that A. But it, it became forced, basically, once I got brain teasers. So I got that way out of order. Okay, should I have thought of these words? Mystery, enigma, riddle, quandary, I did think of, conundrum. I probably should have thought of all of those words. My brain was empty, though. <laughs> all right, well, let me know how you did.